What's up, everybody? It's me, Greg Miller, alongside the pride of the sunset, Destin Legary. Hey, Greg, what's going on? Not much, Destin. I was playing this God of War Ascension over the weekend, mm -hmm. and I got to this painting, and it had a whole bunch of gibberish underneath it. Did it? Well, let's go check that out and see what we can figure out right now okay. about that painting. Oh, okay. Oh, I like I like that you, you thought it through. You know what it's all mm -hmm. about. If you haven't played God of War, here it is. Look at this thing. You open it up, and look at all this cute gib... And I, like, I just looked <laughs> at this, and I thought, oh, well, this is some reference to a God of War game from the past that I just don't remember. Like, I've, I've played all the God of Wars. Mm -hmm. I've seen everything happen. I was like, oh, maybe that's Mount Olympus. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's foretelling Kratos coming to destroy it. I thought it was a DLC code. Ah. Uh, but it's it way wasn't. too long to be a DLC it's code It's actually for a cipher. Oh. Uh, it actually spells out sun, bird, bull, lion, sun. And it's a cipher, so Q equals S, uh, U equals U, etc. It's like in, uh, in A Christmas Story. When Ralphie it gets the little yes. orphan Annie decoder yes, ring. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to those spots. There's the sun right there. And uh, let's go to bird next. Oh, these are buttons on the floor. Yeah, so bird's over here. This bird. is early in the game, too, ladies and gentlemen, if you yeah, have played. Yeah, this is just this chapter 14, the cistern. Bull. How, many how long did it take you to figure this out? Were you running around doing all this stuff? No, I did it like my first try. I'm sure you did. <laughs> Bull. And then the lions here. And all I'm doing is tapping R1 on these guys. Oh. And then back to where we started. But it doesn't say to tap R1. You nope. just know to tap R1? Yeah, back to where we started. Uh -huh. Hit R1. When the earth stops, the journey begins. Interesting. Is that Pangea too? So that's apparently what happened. You see, you see America over there. You see this? Oh, wait a second. Earth. Mm, I don't know about all this. What does this mean? I don't know. Interesting. You think it's a tease for the next God of War game? I have no idea. Like, we have this thing. We have our time manipulation. It could be a tease for God of War 4. When the Earth stops, the journey begins. Interesting, right? Very interesting. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I bet it's a tease for the next God of War game or something along the lines. You figure God of War 3, of course, ends on such a weird cliffhanger note. Spoilers. Kratos gets stabbed. Looks like he's going to die. Has his heavenly dream, but then we come back and the body's gone. There's mm -hmm. blood draped off to the side of like a cliff. Uh, I think, and I think it's one of those things we've been talking for a while, right? That when PlayStation 4 launches, when they actually reveal the box, when they actually talk about what PlayStation 4 is, mm -hmm. they're going to need huge games, right? Like they had a great presentation, solid foundation to say we're about games, yeah. but Killzone, Infamous, yeah. th those uh -huh. aren't selling. Infamous doesn't sell a system to anybody but me and Colin Moriarty. <laughs> but you come out at E3 and you show a brand new God of War, whatever. I, I don't think it'll be. I've been saying God of War 4 for a lot of these games. I don't think they're going to, or you know, 4 is for Killzone 4, right? Yeah. Uh, four for Uncharted 4. I think they're going to move away from that with what they do with launch titles, right? Because what we saw at the PlayStation reveal event was, hey, here's another Infamous, here's another Killzone. We're not putting numbers on them because we want the name recognition of the franchise, mm -hmm. but we don't want you to go, oh, I never played the first three Killzones. I won't buy this. Yeah. So maybe this is the, you know, they're talking about, you know, when the Earth stops, the journey begins. And when the PS4 launches, the Earth will stop. It will stop, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Confirmed, <laughs> IGN.com. And when PlayStation 4 comes around, the Earth will stop. But you figure it's time for somebody else to have a new journey right yeah it's time for somebody w what was the text before on the thing because it was it was a prophecy so it was just uh we're scrolling up here yeah what is it here let me take a look oh of all the prophecies i have seen this one haunts my dreams the full truth of this nightmare yet remains hidden mm -hmm. alathenia not not athena alathenia hmm. <laughs> and now it's when the earth when the earth stops the journey begins hmm. well i don't know destiny I don't know. That's I don't what know I what say it means. too. Well, that's interesting. I like that. I like this is fun. I like that Sony Santa Monica put this in here because the internet's been talking about it nonstop since we found it. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, now we have to figure out what this riddle means. On top of that, but ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you hit us up on Twitter at IGN is IGN. I'm at Game Over Greggy. Destin's at Destin Legary. Mm -hmm. Until then, we will keep going through every game in the world and seeing if it'll sync up with Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> Beyond. <laughs>